How's it going, awesome people? Thanks for tuning in to one of these thingies. I, I don't really know what to call them. I guess we'll just go with discussions. <laughs> um, I've got to say, these things are actually really nice pieces to work on while I focus on bigger videos. The super nice thing about it is that I can just talk about whatever, whenever, with so much ease. So, the channel should start doing a lot better at YouTube's eyes. But enough healthy channel ideas aside, let's talk about the most exciting thing that I've partaken in this month. PAX East. PAX East is a big gaming convention that, nicely enough, takes place in Boston, which makes it super convenient to travel to, unlike most cons that have come to my attention that probably would be cool to go to if I didn't have to go the distance. I've been going to PAX East since 2010 or 11. It's one of the two. It's been so long that it's actually kind of hard to remember the start date. But what I do remember is that I've managed to go each year since I've started. And yeah, while some years are better than others, I have to say that this was definitely my favorite year with everything that I've got to experience. And so I figured, you know what, why don't I actually come on here and talk about it? You know, for the first time around, it's, it's a lot of cool things that happen. I usually also have a bunch of friends that also happen to attend PAX East during the year, so it's always nice to get to see them again. I mean, responsibilities always find a way to veer its ugly head in on you when you hit that certain age, but we tend to find some way to break away from it and have a sense of enjoyment to keep our sanity in line. But yeah, it's fun getting to see old friends that I sometimes only get to see once a year at the event itself, and it's also nice getting to meet online mates as well for the first time. And one of those friends just so happened to be Soldier First Class. If you like Final Fantasy 7, then you're gonna wanna check out his channel because he, along with my boy Nice Guy Prince on his channel, have been both covering Final Fantasy 7 remake news like religiously. I mean, I would do it, but I like to sleep. But kudos to them, so go check them out. Their, their channel links will be in the description. But hey, back on topic real quick. Me and Soldier had an awesome time meeting each other and just shooting his stuff for hours while eating Chinese food after PAX. It was great getting to sit down and talk about all the goody goody FF stuff in person. It's something that I definitely can't wait to do again in the future and I hopefully have some of our other FF buddies along for the ride. Aside from that, I also got to see a few other content creators in person. Sir Skyward, HMK, the Mega64 crew. I ended up missing Arlo, like we were in the same space but I completely just missed him after I got to talk to Gerard. Oh, that's right, I also got to speak to the completionist. He's a really nice dude, but I can tell that the day was just getting to him and he just seemed <laughs> super drained after he did his panel. And I didn't want to take up too much of his time, but he gave me some nice advice on YouTube and it pretty much was like, focus on one thing and do the best that I can with it. Which is sort of contradicting to what I'm doing now with these little videos on the side. But hey, how else am I going to feed the algorithm, right? Nicely enough. Like I've said previously, these aren't a hindrance at all to the bigger videos that I'm doing, so I'll still keep working on these while working on those, and I think everything should go fine from there. But thanks again, Gerard, I really appreciate it. There were a couple other rocky parts when it came to the con, though. Between things getting in my way of getting there on time or just having to endure some annoyingly long lines that can make the difference between you getting to enjoy one thing, but also missing out on another thing within the time frame that the expo hall has to be open. A case where waiting in line ended in something bad was when I waited to play the game GTFO. Yeah, with a name like that, I should have taken a hint because I did want to GTFO before and after playing that game, to be completely honest. I'm highly positive we waited an hour and some change to play like 15 minutes of a team-based objective shooter alien game? It seemed like an interesting game, but just not something easy to dive into and have a total sense of understanding what to do and feel like you're making any real progression before hearing time's up. I just keep thinking, man, I could have played through like 7 or 10 indie games and I'm sure all that time waiting in line would have been well more enjoyed if it was going towards something more worthy like those games. Now, that's a case of waiting in line to experience something not so favorable, but two times that I actually didn't mind waiting in line was when I got to play Animal Crossing and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Animal Crossing was a nice experience because it's not a game I admittedly keep up with too often, but it's one that I've been keeping an eye on as the game has been looking like the one that really keep me invested in it from all the things that I've seen so far. It's gonna be a good time getting to wind down and play the game with some friends. Speaking of, me and some friends also got to take a bunch of photos inside of Nintendo's Animal Crossing pop-up booth thing and it was just so creatively put together. 
it was the perfect little thing for big Animal Crossing fans, and I hope to see them do it for more games down the line, like maybe the next big Zelda game? Eh, just an idea. Crossing over into Final Fantasy VII Remake, I have already did a video on that, so I don't want to fill up this one with too much time, but the big thing to know from it is that I just wish that I knew the demo was coming after PAX, because I wouldn't have tried to kill myself getting the PAX and enduring all the waiting that I had to do just for the chance to possibly play the game. But, you know what? It's nice because it gave me and Soldier something great to talk about after the show, and I also got to be Barrett's new voice actor. He was a really nice guy and it was great to talk with him as well. Some of the other voice actors was there, but I missed out on my chance to get the tickets to talk to them because, well, I was in line waiting for Animal Crossing and I didn't realize that it was happening at the same time, so uh, better luck next time I guess. But hey, at least I got to meet John Bentley and I'll take that over nothing. Oh, another cool thing that happened was during the last day, I was thinking to myself, Oh shoot, I still haven't gotten around the chance to play the Wonderful 101 demo and I beaten the game back on Wii U when it originally came out so I wanted to go flex my skills a bit in a new remaster. Little did I know, Hideki Kamiya was standing not too far away and when I seen him of course I flew over there and had to say hi and had to get a picture of my laptop because I'm positive my chances of meeting him are pretty slim to none so I didn't want to pass that up. I'm not sure if he speaks much English but one of my friends told me that while I was playing the demo, Kamiya and one of his platinum peeps were talking about me. Of course, I'll never know what they were saying, but hopefully they enjoyed the mad skills that I was showing off for the demo. Either way, oh man, there's a lot that I'm seriously stoked to play this year, and it was pretty awesome getting to play those demos and for the chance to meet all the new faces that I did this year. I can't wait to see what PAX 2021 brings to the table. Hopefully with less worries of the coronavirus. But all in all, PAX was a fantastic experience this year and I've, it had some hiccups along the way, I won't lie, but hey, what in life doesn't really have them? Or at least some type of oversight. I'm not the most traveling person, mostly because I'm not a fan of planes. I, I just can't wrap my head around what source of me keeps those things in the sky. But I'm scared that if I think about it too much while in one, it'll come crashing down. So. I usually do local cons in Boston, like PAX East, but ironically, so long as this, again, coronavirus stuff doesn't get any worse, I'll be going to Momocon, so you'll see me there, and you'll also see me at Anime Boston if any of you happen to go there. If there are any other cons or places I'll be considering going to, then I'll most definitely update it, most likely on my Twitter, since that's where I'm most active, but as of now, those are the two next places that I'll be going to, so if you see me, just yell bear boy can't really miss me i usually wear this red bear boy hoodie so again give me a shot if you see me but before any of that jazz since you've made it this far let me know what cons you'd like to see bear boy at in the future and who knows maybe you'll luck out also don't forget to like subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss out on any bear boy goodness thanks again for watching and i'll catch you around in the next video laters